Somebody call the law, somebody call the law It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong What up though, Heist Man Defoe, Talk That Talk, Ghetto News and Opinions, man. You got to keep your hands to yourself. If y'all know what I'm talking about, man, I'm talking about this dude right here. You got to keep his hands to himself, man. He is the father of the graduate of this little girl right here, man. She graduated high school, man. It's a time for graduation. Everybody having graduation parties and everything. But man, he jumped on stage and he attacked this man, a black man. And I call it an attack because that's what it is. It's an attack. Look at this, man. I got footage of it right here. Check this out, man. Look at this attack. Oh. Excuse me. Michael. No, no, no. Where's Brendan? Mm, mm, mm. Shaking my head, man. See how that man vicious? Well, it wasn't a vicious attack, but he attacked that man. He jumped on stage and stopped that black man from um, doing his job. His duty is to shake hands with the graduates. I don't know what it's over about. I don't know what it's about. Some people said they was in the audience and said he had, um, called him the N word as he did it. Like he didn't want his daughter touching that black man. Keep your hands off my daughter. He didn't want him. He didn't want his white daughter touching that black man's hand. Some other people said this, the um, superintendent, um, he did some things for the, through the superintendencies of something, of his, of his um, what do you call it, of his tenure. He did something wrong inside of his superintendent duties, and that dude didn't like him. But, man, that dude jumped up on stage and attacked that man. He put his hands on, on that man, yo. He grabbed him by the arm. Um, one thing I noticed about this, I heard the people clapping. I don't know who they was cheering for. Was they cheering for the superintendent or they suing, I mean, cheering for the man who, um jump on stage who did that you know did they like it i don't know man this is in bear boo high school this is somewhere in wisconsin i don't know about the people up there in wisconsin man big shout out to them i think i got a playoff partner from up there man up in racine area um he ain't racist and he white you know so i don't know if this is a racist place out there man what they got going on he was the only black person in attendance that from what I've seen, you know, they was clapping. But this is the same high school that had these brothers right here. Not brothers, but you know what I mean. Had these dudes right here doing the Nazi salute when they graduated some years back. People might not remember this. It wasn't that big in the story, but this um, photo went viral. These dudes out there, all of them doing the Nazi hand salute. Um, hey, this this from Bear Boo High. This is their school. That's what they did. That's, that, that's what they known for. I don't know. Y'all tell me what's going on in Bear Boo. Bear Boo, Jigaboo, something like that, man. I don't know, man. Um, Washington, I mean, Wisconsin, from what I know, there's a lot of white people up there. They didn't want that, man. I'm talking about, he wasn't trying to do that. He jumped on stage, man, and put his hand. Look at that. Just keep your hands to yourself, man, because it could have went real wrong, man. If he was the nigga that I am. <sighs> Shit. Come on, man. He was arrested, though. You know, he was charged from... Uh, um, from jumping on stage, confirmed the man was a parent of the graduate. He arrested for disorderly conduct. He should be arrested for assault also. Um, I, I say that, man, just because man, it wasn't like he came up there and did nothing to the man physically, but he did physically touch him. It wasn't, he didn't come up there throwing no hands over him. He just grabbed him and said, look, I don't want you touching my daughter. Like, like come on, man. This shit, this shit crazy because first of all, are you that goddamn that racist that you can just jump on stage or you gonna like come on man keep your hands to yourself to yourself that's some bullshit man um he felt comfortable enough to do that to jump on stage and put his hands on a black man like he ain't scared he fuck him I don't want him touching my daughter like I want to know if it's internal beef 
Was that? I mean, come on now. Is is it, it's just um this superintendent a player type motherfucker? He don't want him touching his daughter. Like man, I want this old slime ball, greasy ball motherfucker touching my daughter, man. Hey man, don't touch my motherfucking daughter, man. You know I can understand that. If I seen a motherfucker like man, this slimy ass player nigga ain't gonna be whispering my daughter here, nigga. Fuck, don't touch my daughter. Like on that type shit, you see. But this is kind of racial. He ain't like that nigga touching his white daughter. He want him to put his her lily white skin on that rough knuckle <laughs> dragon monkey nigga hand. That's what he thinking. That old monkey nigga hand. That's what he thinking, man. That's fucked up. If it was me, man. Like, man, he was allowed. Like, what, man? Bro, big shout out to the brother, man, for not fucking him up. You know? Not doing something crazy. Fucking that man square. He like, yo, keep your hands off me, bro. Get off this stage. He tried to be all civil and shit. Not me, man. Cut from a different cloth. Anyway, I go live on this channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Talking about shit just like this. And we definitely going to dive into this Friday night at 9 p.m., man. With my co-hosts, Prem Zill and Charlene Defoe. Because this shit got to be spoken about, man. We got to we gotta talk about it. We got to dive deep into this. Or maybe not so deep. I didn't say my piece. And that's why I'm doing my this video now. Say my piece now. Because... My um, co-host, they be trying to talk me off a ledge sometime, and um, nah, I don't want to be off the ledge. I want to go full nigga. It's full dumb. Anyway, like I said, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about shit jokes just like this. Come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live on Fridays. Come through and fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.